Okay friends, to get started on replacing our map sensor, the first thing we have to do obviously is locate it. That's going to be located on the passenger side of your engine, right behind your throttle body. The first thing we're going to have to do to start servicing this is to remove the wiring harness from it. If you were to just carefully lift up on this tab, you can draw your wiring away. Always inspect your wiring and make sure you don't see any funny colors. If you do, it's probably corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. This one looks great, so we'll set it aside. Now the next thing we need to do is pop the map sensor up and out of the plenum here. You want to be very careful not to break anything off because if anything falls inside of the plenum, you're going to have to take this whole thing apart to get to it. The easiest way to do that would just be to take something like this and then gently pry underneath it. We want to get in between the sensor itself and the plenum and then lift it up and out. There it is, friends. Okay, now it's time to install our brand new map sensor. Something that I like to mention is this gasket area along here. Just use a thin amount of clean motor oil, put it on there as a lubricant. Now we're just going to come over to the plenum and we're going to line up the two tabs on the plenum to the two areas on the map sensor. Let's also make sure that the gasket's starting to head into the plenum there, line everything up, and then gently push it down and in. Once you feel as though it's in as far as it can go, just give it a nice wiggle. It's gonna move around, but make sure it doesn't easily pop up and out of there. Once you have that on there, let's continue on by putting on our electrical connector. Go ahead and press it right in there, listen for a click, and of course, give it a wiggle. Now all you have to do is go ahead and start up the truck and make sure you don't have any check engine light. 